Right, welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon White Nuzlocke Challenge Super Special Awesome thing. And I'm looking here um, at Lucy's moves, and I'm thinking there isn't particularly that much. I'm thinking I want to get rid of for Surf. I like Scald because it could burn, but it's not as strong. I like Razor Shell as her attacking stat is actually more than her special attack. Revenge is quite good just for a non-water attack, and Aqua Jet good for the priority. So. I don't know, should I get rid of a move for surf? Should I? Well, probably just wait until maybe until I really have to surf, if I have to for that. And um, so I'm not really sure. Now there's a chance I may catch another Pokemon that could learn surf as well, which would be pretty handy, and hopefully that may actually be the case. Um, but nonetheless, um, that was the wrong button. And um, that was just general thinking there. Anyway, you can see we're in the Castilia. I can't remember what this town's even called now, but yeah, I still need to get the fire stone, so I have to check online where to actually find it, and it's from this guy here. Pamphlet, Pamphlet, and Pamphlet are all Pokemon that evolve with special stones. Which Pokemon do you want to evolve? Pansier, of course. Oh, right, so it's Pansier, indeed. Pansier, then it's a fire stone you need. Yeah, you got our fire stone. You got in our items case. You may already know this, but I will give you some advice. When a Pokemon evolves, it will be more powerful, but it will be slower to learn the new move. This is especially true for Pokemon that evolve a stone, so it's up to you. You can have it learn a good move and then evolve it with a stone, or evolve it with a stone fast and have it learn a move with a TM. Yeah, it's pretty much in that. Um, I think essentially Pansier, once it evolves, does not really learn anything at all, to my knowledge, so. Um, it's a bit of the. Thing, obviously, why careful if you want. Like, obviously, I did it, I, just, I did it so I learned Fire Blast at least. I'm not really bored about Crunch now, so I'm going to use the Fire Stone on Chim, and we are going to have little evolution time for Chim. What? Chim is evolving? What blasphemy is this? And hopefully, Chim will be a lot more lovelier and better now with his increased stat as well and everything, so he could take it spare, he could deal more damage. And yeah, that is generally a pretty good thing. Obviously, there's TMs, I could still teach him, I thought he'd teach new moves and that, but yeah. I quite like his tail, it just bounces around a lot, and I like his... I prefer his hair before he went to Simiseer, because it was just like the one bit. But it's still good nonetheless, so yeah, um, let's just have a quick look at Sim and his newfound glory. Oh, I've got a little load Sim there just dancing around. And um, let's see your stats. I didn't check your stats beforehand, but yeah, they're looking pretty good. So, yeah, that is that is nice. We have. Oh wait, no, I don't want to go back there. Um, that's well, essentially nice. Anyway, now we're finished here. We're going to have to fly back to Mysterion City or Mysterion City or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't really read it much. I don't really know it well either. Um, off screen, I also bought a bunch of super potions because really more super potions were lovely. I still do two revives. I've had for for like forever. Um, I also would you have a I have two rare candies as well which I've not used at all which I should probably get round to using at some point. But nonetheless let us continue on this way where we were last time and see if we can um battle the trainer here because I can't want to battle you. Um hello? Hello there. Um I love raise walkways. Balancing is fun, so I often come here to play. Wonderful! I really don't understand the, like, random people who just run around dressed as clowns and challenge people to battles. So this is a pure electric site. I don't think it has levity though, but that's not really much of a problem. It's raining, and um, I doubt this little thing is going to have something like thunder, so we should be safe. I don't know if we'll be faster or not, so payback will be lovely enough and we've almost killed it. Spark's not going to be doing too much, it'll probably do a decent chunk but not particularly much. It's paralyzed us but with Ed's ability Shed Skin which is actually just activated we don't need to bother about status too much with Ed. Let's go for Strength because we rarely ever use it. I can't remember what accuracy it has, I'm presuming it's 100. 
um, but may as well just use it for a change instead of like our usual attack pattering. Um, so about to send in a ducklet. Um, how are we doing the levels anyway? Third, three, third, three, third, three, third, five, third, five, third, five. Okay, okay. Pretty much everyone apart from Tim and Lucy could do with some leveling up. Uh, obviously, Tim and Lucy can get leveling up as well. Particularly Lucy, so she could actually evolve. I'm presuming it's going to be level 36. She evolves it. I've been saying like for like for the past 50 or so parts, even though we're not in 50 parts, that she evolves soon. She evolves soon. She evolves soon. And then when she evolves, you're like, okay, I have nothing to look forward to now. Um, obviously, Ed and Blobinson can evolve still, and, and Trunk, my Trunk was already evolved. Who else do we have again? Uh, Luigi can evolve as well. I'm not sure when Luigi evolves. Oh yeah, Trunk, well, Trunk, well, let's go. Um, I know Tim doesn't really need experience as much. Tim actually might still have the experience share, actually. I wasn't paying attention. But wow, I love the way he just has his hands, like, dangling down there. Oh wait, Fire Blast is not going to be doing as much, um, as I realised just as soon as I know it, because it's raining so it probably won't KO. Whoa, it KO'd and that was not even a crit. Sim, you are so powerful now. I love you Tim. Be my fire monkey. I lost but I won't stop. Lovely, lovely. Tim, do you say anything else? If you walk and raise walk away, you can move without encountering wild Pokemon. But if you start to rest for a while, you'll fall. Anyway, anyway, I um, need to see here. And um, Tim, do you still have the experience here? Because I did not pay full attention. I don't want. Okay, give you the charcoal then. Um, or the, yeah, we'll get rid of the experience share and I'll give it to Luigi because Luigi's not actually got an item. Um, I did give that to you, didn't you? I was pressing. Yeah. Okay. We'll give it to Luigi because Luigi's the only one without an item now. So, yeah, so I'll give it to Luigi. And hopefully we can get across here um, easily. I would run, but I normally run off the edge when I run, so I'd rather not do that. Um, it's kind of weird without getting a wild Pokemon battle. But yeah, last time I had Sharon here, which is a bit annoying. I want to go in here to find a new Pokemon, but I guess we will just have to deal with this guy first. Conquering a mountain means conquering your fears. Can you win against Pokemon that have conquered many mountains? I'm going to name the next Pokemon I catch after this person. Um, let's see, um, Terrell, Terrell, okay, I'm going, if the Pokemon, if I catch a Pokemon in this mountain in the cave thing, I'm naming it Terrell, Terrell, Terrell? I don't know, never heard of the name before, so I'm not too familiar with it, but nonetheless, um, no matter what happens, this thing's going to live, actually no, if it attacks us, it'll probably faint, okay, maybe not. Um, it's got a lot more defense I thought because it has the sturdy ability it would survive the break break anyway but because if it attacked us it could have been hit by the rocky helmet so um, it pr could have killed itself but we actually killed it surprisingly I thought it would live like barely on my a very low amount of red HP but yeah a guard there a guard there's the fighting Pokemon which we obviously don't want to face again so I guess we'll go for Blobinson because Blobinson is doing quite well now um, Blobinson's getting pretty strong, um, I actually really do like Blobinson, the actual Pokemon it is, honestly don't remember the name of what it actually is, um, but I actually do quite like his Pokemon, I just love that it. it's just a weird blobby thing, it just looks cute and adorable as well. Okay, we did not go there, despite the massive special attack we have, chip away didn't really do too much damage, so we're pretty much safe here, just go for the side shock and finish it off, so. That's good. And Kunko, uh, no, that's Gerder. Kunko, there's the Valkyrie. Gerder just looks so much like a weird clown with that big red nose. Kunko, there, in like the previous forms, fine, not as bad, but yeah. You conquered the Bulus Mountain, the Bulus something. I don't know. Hikers aim at summits. Pokemon trainers aim for the Pokemon League. So yeah, Tarao, Tarao. Um, I need to try and remember your name now so I could actually. If I catch a Pokemon in here, um, hmm. I'm not sure, this music sounds kind of weird, but I'm not sure. Oh, come on, Charon. And it's a gym leader as well. Oh, well. Um, let's see what these guys here want to say. Ah, uh, Declan. What a surprise seeing you here while I was expecting Twist Mountain. The two of you seem a bit more rugged than the last time I saw you. A little bit, anyway. Is that so? By the way, you've all seen that pink plasma car light light. After all the trouble we gym leaders met up, we had a chat, but we've got no clue where they are, it's like they're hiding under a rock. We know that much to do, wait for them to move. Anywho, 
This is none of your concern. It's quite like the two of you should just be enjoying traveling with your Pokemon. This mountain's a fine place to explore. You'll have some fun if you just leave the hair path. Well, better you go see it for your steady listening to me yammer. Beside your sprouts, feel free to tune yourself in the mountain for as long as you like. I don't know, he seemed a bit more, he speak, like, the things he was saying seemed a lot more dial, I'm not sure how to explain it, like, it was more like missing letters and everything, if that makes sense from the way he speaks from what I remember. Maybe he did it before and I didn't pay much attention, I don't know. I thought he was going to get us involved in all sorts of bother again, so I was bracing myself before I knew it. I'm going in first, but I'll be seeing you. Bye. Thank God, I don't want Charon here anymore, I don't want anything to do with Charon. I'm guessing we don't get white Pokemon in this particular part, or maybe. Um, wow, it's like a giant mine or something. Um, okay, this is kind of a good way to go, even though we need to get, we can't get over to that random trainer there though. This is going to be a pretty confusing place, isn't it? It seems awfully large. Um, oh, I don't like that. I want to run around a bit to see if I can find a white Pokemon, but oh well. Well, I don't believe it rocks, my spirit can whoop. Well, whatever bless your spirits, I guess. And um, Dara, wow. Uh, Taro? I think you're forgetting the name of that tr trainer. Um, now it's like, oh no, I can't remember your name now. Actually, no, we're not staying in with Ed because this is a flying attack, so don't really like face that. Let's just go to Lucy because Lucy's a safe bet. Plus, um, more experience for Lucy the quicker she evolves because I just want Lucy to evolve. It's like, evolves quicker, evolve faster. I want you to evolve. Anyway, we'll go for the loveliness that is Scald. Um, actually, we're probably better with Razor Shell. This thing seems probably more. Oh, do we get a crit? No. Wow, do we have the Mystic Water? I think we probably have the Mystic Water item, but still. Boulder, Boulder's the thing that's going to survive because it's sturdy. Uh, but that is not really that much of a lot. Look how much Aqua Jet does, because we're going to have to use two attacks anyway, and we're going to be faster because this thing is going to be pretty slow. So Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet did a decent chunk, did about half, so that's good. Skull probably would have took it down to the 1 HP though. But unless it's some like a recoil move, it's not like it would have fainted anyway and it missed with the rock slide or rock throw or whatever it is. Luigi's level 34 now, go Luigi. That will send in a girder, um, we may as well go to Blubinson and hopefully maybe kill this one with one hit. Um, we were just a little bit off before but it really just depends on the stats and, uh, and as well as the minimum maximum damage stuff. If we do the minimum, minimum amount of damage we could possibly do or the maximum amount of damage we can possibly do. And yeah, we were able to go at this time with one hit which is quite lovely. Blubinson near enough levelling up as well so... And I lose my spirit sink. Well, oh well. My spirits rise and fall, I'm just timely and predictable. Oh well. Oh yes, yes, please don't be a Pokemon we've seen before, so I'm not. Yes! Well, kinda yes. I did find the first form before, but actually, I never caught that, so that's not really as bad anyway. Um, let us go for the. Faint attack, faint attack, faint attack. I see how much this does. Um, not too much. Okay, you're going for the iron defense. That's a, that's, that's not bad. Cause it's it makes it harder to accidentally kill you. So we'll just go for the faint attack again. Um, not doing too much damage. Mud slots probably got lower accuracy a bit as well. I think yeah, because we so we have a, actually we're not going to miss with faint attack though. So we don't need to bother about that. And faint attacks. Doing okay, it's down, it's smack down. Um, 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 it's not very effective, that's good. I don't know what type it is though. Anyway, I'm going to have to switch out here because the damage it's doing. Well, actually, no. No, I'll just heal it up and um, just to play it safe. Um, well, we actually have 50 super potion for well, 39 now. But more than I thought I actually had. Um, I'd actually buy enough, like, just go, okay, so specifically I'm going to aim for 50 super potions. I just bought like 30 other something. But nonetheless, it should live another faint attack, and it should be in the rain. Eh, we can go for another faint attack, actually. And just to put it more closer to the range I want it to be in. So I'll go for another faint attack. <laughs> And yeah, that's gonna be good enough HP to attempt to actually capture it. We tried to capture the first form quite a while back and we failed. 
So yeah, what Pokeballs do we have? You have the Heal Ball, Ultra Ball, Great Ball, Net Ball, um, a Timer Ball. Let's go for the Timer Ball because we've not really used it before, um, I don't think. And I like having a bit of variety of Pokeballs at least for a change. It shouldn't be too hard to catch her. A few turns have passed. Um, and at the minimum, I think it's just got to be like the same catcher as a Pokeball anyway, if not better, so well, that was quite good. So we got a boulder, that is quite nice. I think to evolve it, we need to trade though, so not really going to be doing that. Because its energy was too great to be contained, the energy leaked and formed orange crystals. They look more red to me, if you mean like the bits on it anyway. We're going to name you after that random hiker, because why would you not name it after a random hiker you find? Um, I said, this is if, even if I remember the name right now, I can't remember if it's an A or an E here, um, I think this is the name, <laughs> oh, I'm just horrible, I just couldn't think of a name off the top of my head, so it's like, yes, I'll name it after this random trainer there, obviously to the PC, but that means we actually have 8 Pokemon, as we still have Joe the Litwick as well on the PC, so, yeah, that is quite nice, but on that, no, no, actually, I was thinking maybe it used repels, but it depends how many wild Pokemon I end up finding, if I want to use the repels or not. Um, a wood belt would have been quite nice as well, but we don't really need one that much, even though an edge as a lead's not too good, because obviously it's a bit of a threat, so we'll go to Lucy, and I think I will use the repels, even though we're near the end of the part anyway, but I want to at least get a bit more exploration done here and the place is pretty massive which is a bit of an annoyance because it's like where do I go and you check here and you check there there's so many places to check and it's just like ugh um, but anyway, oh wrong button um, even if I do use the repel, well the super repel it's still going to be in use for um, the next part anyway, so it's not exactly... Where are the repels again? Are they in here? It's like, where are they? Oh, there they are. We have 30 of them left. Well, 39 now, um, which isn't particularly like a bad number anyway. It's a good amount. Okay, we have an exit to the left, and I don't even know what you're doing. Um, but I want to battle you anyway. Um, I would actually would have been surprised if I walked past you and actually missed you. I want to know how the fighting Pokemon feel. That's why I fight too. That's me, a battle girl. Oh, you're a girl. I thought you were a guy. Oh well. Uh, it's sometimes a bit difficult to tell the genders from the overworld sprites. Obviously, there you can go. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty much like a girl. And when you're using a thoror, or throw, or thoror, or throw. Oh, to throw, to throw. Anyway, enough of my silly noises. Uh, uh, enough of my silly noises. I still make more of them. Let's try Luigi because poison resists fighting. Um, Blubinson's a sad little weak, so Luigi might work well. Revenge, we resist it, we know how it works, it's basically like payback, but a fighting type version of it. So yeah, um, we can go for the Toxic, let's go for the Toxic. It's got a bulk up, which doesn't really matter so much. Luigi, you do have the faint attack, but I'm not going to be using a dark attack against the fighting type. And I have the Giga Drain as well, so... That will help us absorb HP as well as heal our own. So we'll go for the Giga Drain next and then I'll go for the Ingrain afterward. Okay, Bulk Up maybe. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought Luigi would have been able to live that. Barely. I kind of forgot the Bulk Up obviously would boost its attack, but really? I miss the thing so horrible with this. It's like, that was like, I barely even use Luigi's. I've not had that much opportunities due to having to go against the flying gym and everything, but it's like, really? Ah, oh, this is just not going well so far, this Nuzlocke, is it? That means we are going to have the lovely choice of being able to have um, Tyrell or Joe in the team next. Um, a fire ghost and a rock type. Um, I don't know which yet would be maybe be the best. And yeah, uh, I feel bad. I lost Luigi already. I didn't expect it to do that much. I know obviously Re revenge was resisted, but seeing how much it did when it was a stab attack, I, why did I just go for roost? Uh, my mind's just all over the place at the moment. Live, 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 live. I'm an idiot. I'm a big idiot. I just killed my flyer as well. Uh, I, I accidentally clicked roost. Why did I do that? I've lost two Pokemon already. 
Oh, that's such a feeling so much. Uh, and you don't need to learn scary face. We don't want scary face. Oh, that was just horrible. I played so I just played completely horrible there. I don't know why. I don't. I misclicked for the roost, which is my biggest problem. I was thinking of going for the air cutter instead. Um, I thought air cutter was where roost was. If I went for that, or even quick attack, I would have killed it. And I wouldn't have lost two lovely Pokemon. But yeah, I don't actually think I have any escape ropes to quickly escape here. Um, which is kind of going to be the thing I need. Uh, the thing I need the most. So yeah, I think we're going to have to put everything in the grave next part. Um, oh wait, 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 there is an escape rope right there. We have eight of them somehow. But yeah, this that was just horrible. That was beyond horrible. Um, oh, come on! Uh, for quickness, I'm going to be using Zazu to fly because uh, I don't want to waste that much time, really. Plus, fly is just really just speeds up what I could have done normally anyway. I was just eventually walk back and I could avoid all the grass, so it's not exactly like I would miss any wild Pokemon there and that could potentially kill the team as well. But yeah, uh, I'll look for them in the PC instead, because the PC kind of gives better stats anyway, well, a better short screen of what the stats should be. So yeah, this is horrible, we've lost more Pokemon. So we have little Luigi here, and um, lacks nature, effects, spore, um, good moves and everything, level 34. And in you go Luigi, um, I'm going to need a new flyer as well and for Anzazu, the Un's event, Hasty Nature, Big Pecs, got the lucky egg, didn't actually realise that, but yeah, Cook Attack, Air Slash, Roast and Fly, you're a lovely little um, Uzu event, I'll take the items off them later, but yeah, we are only got Tim, Ed, Blobinson and Lucy in the team at the moment. Um, obviously we're going to have to go over to box 3 and get level 27 Joe out, um, who um, has a lax nature, flash fire, obviously no item, nightshade, will o flame burst and imprison. That means we're going to have two fire types in our team, and we're going to have two rock types with the timid, um, uh, terrile, um, sturdy, as an everstone surprisingly, and mud slap, iron defense, smackdown, and power gen, that means we have two Pokemon, two fire Pokemon, two Pokemon weak to fighting, one at resist fight. Oh wait, one immunity fighting as well. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, I guess. But still, I don't want to use Terra or Joe unless I decided to change my team around. Ah, uh, this is really well. Luigi's Luigi was partly my fault. Really, it's just a bit of bad play thinking. Right, Luigi should handle the Thor. It should be fine, and it should live the next attack, and then we can Giga Drain and get some HP, then switch out if we do bad. Um, Zazu's death was completely my fault for misclicking, and instead of going for Air Cutter, Quick Attack, or Fly, I I could have flown. If I flew, it would have died to poison anyway. Oh, I just hate when I do mistakes like this, and this is probably the biggest mistake so far because we lost two Pokemon in the one part. Everything else we've lost has just been one per part or none per part. Now we have two per part, and we at least still have a full team, but yeah, that is still not particularly too great. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I hope the two deaths is not too much for you to handle, and um, it will get through it, I guess. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed until the horrible deaths and I'll see you next time.